Hey everyone, welcome to the TW3 Mastermind. Uh, this is normally a private training just for elites, but we've opened it up to the entire membership tonight because I think everyone in the TW3 family can find value out of what we're going to be offering tonight. I'm gonna go for just a few moments and then I'll take your questions at the end. So if you have questions, uh, just save them till the end and just send them into the chat and I will diligently, as, as quickly as possible, I get to your questions, okay? So I don't want anyone to feel uh, ignored. I will answer every question. So feel free to put those in the chat bot uh, there or the chat in the Zoom uh, call app, whatever you're using, and uh, I will get to it. You know, there's several reasons why people get into business. I don't know why you joined TW3 or why you started a business, uh, maybe TW3 is just a platform for you to promote your existing business, or maybe TW3 is your business. I don't know, and I don't know what motivates you, but most of the time, most folks get into it for freedom. They either want to be able to be free to come and go, so it's a time issue. They want to be free to earn as much as they want, so it's a, a monetary issue. Or they want to be free to do what they want and operate in the ways they want and work with who they want. So it's a cultural freedom. Whatever your motivation is, you know, entrepreneurialism and owning your own business and working for yourself can be vastly rewarding. But it does have its challenges that are very unique to being an entrepreneur. You know, when you work for someone else and you are on someone else's time, you're actually someone else's problem. So there's so many things that you don't have to even worry about. Don't even have to cross your radar. But the moment you become an entrepreneur and say, hey, I want to take control of my own life, my own career, my own uh, self-sustaining ability, then there's some new challenges that you have to face head on. And the first challenge, a lot of entrepreneurs, no matter what motivated you to get started, whether you wanted time, whether you wanted to be able to work in the, the industry that, of your choice or offer the products that you wanted or, or do business a certain way, maybe or whatever those challenges or, or, or motivations, I should say, are, there's always that one challenge up front, which is the money challenge, because doesn't matter if you want to be a cook. It doesn't matter if you want to be a coach. It doesn't matter what you want to be. It takes money to make anything happen. Okay. And so you can fall into what's called the money trap. And the money trap is, hey, I've joined this, started this business or joined this coaching platform to start a business or whatever angle you're coming from. You've got into it for whatever motivated you. And now you're in it, but the first challenge you're finding is it takes, you know, a steady income stream to make my motivations become a goal that's a reality. Because at the end of the day, if nobody comes in the restaurant and eats my food, it doesn't matter if I'm a great cook and it doesn't matter if I really enjoy cooking, I'll be out of business tomorrow doesn't matter if I feel called of God to be a pastor and start a church and show up every Sunday to have this wonderful message that I really feel like the Lord gave me and I'm there and I'm full of passion, full of heart, full of energy, really wanting to motivate, inspire, and help change other people's lives. I might even draw an audience, but if there's no way of getting funding for that, then the lights have got to be paid. You know, the cost of having that place has to. So money is always at the forefront of any business venture, any entrepreneurial venture, anything that you're wanting to do. You have to take care of the money, right? And the problem is, if you don't think about money in the right way, you're going to fall into a trap. I call it the money trap. And the money trap is this. I fall into asking the wrong questions. See, to to make the money I need to make, to make it uh, on a steady, you know, it, it come in when I need it, it means I have to solve solutions. There's, there's problems I've got to solve in my business. And those solutions come as answers. And answers are nothing more than the response to a question. 
But if I ask wrong questions, I'll get wrong answers. And if I get wrong answers, that means I'm never solving a problem. Wrong questions come like, how can I make more money? Or what is another business I can do? Or what's another program I can join? Or who's another mentor, coach, or guru I can follow? Now, if you've asked yourself those questions before, I don't want you to feel you know, slighted. I'm not throwing shade. God knows I've asked myself those questions as well. But at the heart of it, it's all focused around money. And ironically, money is not my issue when I do have a money problem. It really isn't. Money's not the problem. Value is the problem. I haven't created enough value because all money is, is if you want to find where money goes, find where the value is at. You know, there's this ongoing debate if you're a sports fan, and it's sort of funny to me, you got a female professional athletes, let's say in the WNBA, and they're, they're complaining that they're not paid like the men's in the NBA and this and that. And Bill Burr has a funny bit about it. And I'm not trying to get into politics or cultural things other than just to make this one commentary on it. If they were packing the stands, if they were selling tons of tickets and people were screaming to get it on demand on the TV, they would not have a money issue. But it's a subsidized sports actually by the NBA. They can barely draw a few hundred people in in stadiums that seats thousands of people and so they don't the the problem they have in in their complaints about we're not making money is the value proposition to their audience is not perceived they haven't found a way to show value to give value to to convey a value that people would be willing okay so it's not it's never a money issue when i I've been in business for myself for uh, almost 30 years. I've been doing TW3 for nearly 15 this, uh, in another month. It'll be 15 years. And I've had ups and downs, ebbs and flows, uh, you know, of, of my business. Anytime my business contracts, restricts, and I start having cash flow issues, my natural instinct is, well, how can I make more money? Oh, what's another a business I can start, a new product I can develop? But, you know, what, what's another program I can develop or start joining my, you know, or, or, or do I need to go get, listen, getting a coach, getting a mentor, getting a, you know, someone that can help. Absolutely. I'm a huge proponent of it. That's what we do here. Uh, having a platform and you can develop other income streams and new products. Absolutely. I, I'm not poo-pooing any of those things. All I'm saying is those aren't the answers when it comes to, uh, wanting to monetize a business. The first thing I have to do is start asking myself right questions so I can get right answers. And the right questions is focused on value, like I said, rather than money. So here are questions I would tell you to exchange and start really asking. Make this a prayer. If, you, if you're struggling right now in a business, in, in, in your TW3 business or a business that you know, you've know you got right now and TW3 is just a, a, a tool to help you grow that business, here are some questions I have learned to ask myself. And by asking myself, it's just a, it's amazing. And science proves this. This is good psychology. It's good theology. And it's actually good biology. I mean, there's three different reasons why asking yourself the right questions opens the universe up to give you the right answers. Okay. Number one, who are the people I can serve the best? Who are the people I can serve the best? You know, there are there's over, what, 7 billion people on planet Earth. There's 330 million people in the United States. There are, you know, 3 million people in South Carolina, 30, or 3.5 million in South Carolina. There, I mean, the point is this. When you're looking at a macro problem, which is I need extra income, I need to grow my business, you're going to get overwhelmed if you don't start really narrowing down your focus. And the first thing is, well, who are the people I can serve the best? See, in my mind's eye, I have an avatar always of who that person is, their background, their attitudes, their worldview, their perspective on things. 
And so that is who I'm going after because I know they will. I will build the best rapport with that avatar and they will find the greatest value in me of what I'm offering. Okay, so number one, who are the people I can serve the best? Number two, what are their biggest problems they have that I can solve? Now, that's very key. What are their biggest problems that they have that I can solve? I might be able to isolate problems they have that there's no way I can solve it, but that might tell me, well, there's the business or product I need to develop. But when it's a money issue, I want to be able to solve problems I can immediately solve now. I'm going after problems I've already got tools to solve. I don't want to go after problems. This is key, guys. You entrepreneur-minded people out there, listen to me. This is key. Yes, a lot of times you've heard trainings from me about, hey, I'm always looking for people. Who are my people? Product process. I've, I've beat that training to death. And so this is this is in that that the uh, that realm of thinking, but the the context here is my cash flow is tight right now. Okay, so I don't want to have to put myself in a position where I got to go out and build this whole new product uh, because my people have this problem and I don't have the product the solution right now in hand to fix it. Well, all of a sudden I've just delayed even more time for me to be able to start monetizing activity. I'm not saying not to build your own products. Hear me, I'm not saying that. I'm saying in times of restrictions and contractions and cash flow uh, issues, then what do I have in my hand right now that is a solution that can solve problems for people that I can serve the best? Question number one, who are the best people to serve for me question number two what are their biggest problems that i can solve now number three what are they currently doing to try and solve those problems what are they doing right now that i can see my people my avatar so if i'm if i'm calling on insurance agents in the southeast that specifically deal with life insurance and specifically final expense life insurance then what are they doing right now to solve their biggest problem? What is their biggest problem? Well, in insurance is always getting qualified leads. Well, what are they doing? They're going out buying leads. Okay, what, that's what they're doing. What can I do? What are the, oh, How is my solution better than their current one? Well, most of the time they're spending anywhere nowadays up eight to 30 to $50 per lead. I can show them how to get their acquisition cost down to just a couple of dollars. Okay, so it's it's more valuable. The value proposition is better. So number four, how is my solution better than than their current one? Number five, and finally, what would best communicate to them the difference so they would immediately see the value? So it, in that context, I would say, can I give you a couple of leads just to see how I develop those leads? So you could do the same so you could get out of this rat race of having to buy your own leads and nine times out of 10, they don't convert. So that is just in that specific niche. I'm going to ask those questions again because I'm telling you, it is amazing when I ask the right questions, I get the right answers. And those answers is what leads me to being able to build the value that I have. You know, if if so, uh, people don't understand value, I don't think. If you have a block of gold in your hand, there is a context to where that block of gold is of immense value, of immense value. And there is a context where it has no value. So if I'm buying and selling on the marketplace in a regular transactional, then the market value of that gold, I can buy it and exchange it for money. But if I'm on a desert island and one guy has the ability to, to, to produce sandwiches anytime he wants to eat, and all I can do is distribute gold, then the, who's at the end of the day and people are on that island and they're starving and the only means to eat is to get sandwiches from that guy, who has the greatest value? So it's all about context. 
So when you're thinking about how can I grow my money, you got to be thinking about how can I grow my value. And how you grow your value is asking right questions so that you can get the solutions. Who are the people I can serve the best right now? Right now in 2023 of June, who are the people that I can serve the best? What's my avatar? What are their biggest problems that I can solve right now? Not something I can develop later on because in, in the, the context here, we're talking about how to get cash flow going right now. Number three, what are they currently doing to try and solve those problems? So isolate what are they doing currently? How is my solution that I've already said that I can serve them the best? How's my solution better than what they're using now? And number five, what would best communicate to them the difference? How can I articulate this in a way that they will perceive the value? So those five questions, when you ask them the right way, you're going to get the right answers. In 2023, off the top of my head, I isolated just a few things I'm doing right now. I am doing right now, and cash flow is coming in. And I only picked things out that the majority of you folks on this call today could do yourself. Okay, there's a couple things you have to be elite, but the rest of them, anybody that has TW3 can do. Okay, just to give you some illustrations. So let's start from, you know, where everybody starts. Steps one through six, everybody understands we start with just offering TW3 as a business opportunity. Now, who are the people I can serve the best? People that are looking, that are underemployed, not necessarily unemployed, but underemployed. They have a job, but the jobs because of inflation, the cost of gas, the cost of food, the cost of living, the cost of everything, cost of taxes. I mean, I live in Spartanburg County right now. Our property tax has almost doubled. Uh, Our uh, grocery bill from this time uh, two years ago has tripled. You know, our cost of living has gone up immensely. Okay. Well, there's tons of other people that are in the same boat. They're not unemployed. They're they're not, uh, but they their money is not going as far as they want. And they really don't have the time to just go out and work two and three jobs because they're already doing all they can. But if I can present a business opportunity to the people that are fully employed nine to five and show them, hey, work an extra two, three hours a day in the evenings, your system works for you during the day, generating leads, you follow up, you set your calendar up a certain way, you call people back, every time you make a sale, it's seven hundred and fifty to $18,000. If you become an elite member, we even show you ways to monetize the leads you generate and not have to sell anything. We even show you how you can offer hourly and salary jobs to people uh, through third-party referral marketing partners. So it's a way of you being able to, to just talk to people in the evenings, two to three hours a day, doing that four or five days a week in the evenings, you and your wife, your, you and your husband, you and your kids, everybody get involved, make this a family thing. That's my avatar. That, that family that is trying to make it, they already got a job or they already already have something or they, they, they're they in a transition in life where they're tired of that nine to five working for the man they, and want to be the man themselves. So the, the business opportunity... Everybody at TW3 has the ability to show people how to earn extra income in a business model that doesn't require them to go out and sell pills, thrills, lotions, and potions, recruiting their friends, family, and foes, you know, and being that guy that nobody wants to talk to. So that's where it all starts. That is basic 101, you know, TW3, okay? And so that is a, that is a, a steady cash flow, number one, uh, you know, business model I have. I did a podcast on it a few weeks ago. You know, I have our call center business model using our platform. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, web design and host. Every one of you guys have, we just dropped in your app about a month or so ago, thousands and thousands of template designs, web designs in your uh, website creator, in your app, which means you can create unlimited websites for people 
unlimited. You can go out on the market right now. You can go to Fiverr. You can go to Freelancer. You can go to uh, Upwork. You can go to any platform you want. Go find where people are looking for people to build them a website. You literally could build websites for people because you're taking the steps one through six, which is funnel design, web design, and all that other stuff. You're being trained on how to do it. Here again, our training is pouring value into information what is value? Value is how to solve problems for other people. You create value. When you create value, you're going to have money. You've got already a fixed cost that is costing you monthly for your, your app. So you can go out and unlimited websites start creating for people. And the only thing it's going to cost you is five, ten bucks to get a URL address, a domain name pointing to the website that you built in your app for that client. You can make as many as you want doesn't cost any more. Boom. So that's number two. Number three, recruiting. Do you realize that we have several, several businesses that are in the sales space, insurance agencies and real estate agencies that they're always looking for qualified salespeople? And because TW3 uh, has a already built in recruiting mechanism, because that's, you know, that's a big space that we occupy ourselves. All we do is, and all I do is I go out to insurance agencies, real estate agencies, other sales organizations and say, hey, do you need qualified uh, applicants that are looking for, uh, you know, a side hustle or looking for full time employment? I've got insurance agents. They pay. They give 401ks. They give uh, insurance, health benefits, retirement, all that other stuff. They pay them a salary plus commission all of that stuff. And I do their recruiting for them because they have tried doing it themselves and it is a hassle. Now I can automate that recruiting process for them and tee them up an applicant. And I'm charging 150 to $250 an applicant. There's one client I have, I charge $1,100 an applicant. Okay. And I was, I was on a coaching call uh, last week and someone was a TW3 member and they said, Terry, I'm struggling. I need leads and I don't have a lot of money. Can you give me a, you know, a strategy that I can start generating leads and income real quick because I got your system. I know how to use it. I just don't have the gasoline to pour on it. I said, sure, love to. And so I showed them, I says, now think about this just for a second. I'm going to give it to all of you members uh, tonight. If you go on Craigslist right now, you can see all different types of businesses in all different types of industries advertising their jobs. You've got uh, car dealers looking for salespeople. You've got insurance. You've got uh, health uh, hospitals hiring. You've got all the, every industry you can think of. You can go on Craigslist right now and find people. Here's what you do. Look for the people that are smaller mom and pop shops that are hiring people and you can tell they don't have a very sophisticated way of recruiting. It's just plain text, no image. There's just a number or email me. You contact them and say, I know you've spent 35, 45, 50, because well, you can look and see what it costs to post an ad, a job ad in that space. Let me ask you. What are you paying? Uh, you're paying this 35, 45 on average. How many qualified applicants are you getting? Have a conversation with them and say, I'm a professional recruiter. Here's what I'll do. You pay me uh, the same amount that you're, you're paying right now for your ad, you know, plus $5, $10 per qualified applicant. I send you qualified applicant. And then I have a conversation with them. A qualified applicant is someone that's, a, you know, and I go down it. They have to be, you know, what do you want? And a person between this age and this age, do you want a high school diploma? Do you want, I get all their qualified. What am I doing? I'm learning how to build an application form. So I build a form. I put together a funnel and I take, I charge them and I send them a link so that they, I can prove I just posted this ad. Here's your ad. And it starts coming in my funnel. And if they go through that funnel, it spits out to them that qualified applicant. And then I tally up at the end of the week and I charge them 10, 15, 20, whatever you want, that qualified applicant that meets all the criteria based on how they fill that form out. Now, here's what I've done. I've created positive cash flow. I've created a service that I can send out and get to them. And they love it. 
because they're now they're getting more applicants and they're getting qualified applicants. I'm also, what am I doing? All of those leads, where are those leads going? They're all going into my CRM. So I just had someone pay for my ad on Craigslist. I'm recruiting for them. I'm getting paid to send them qualified applicants. And then after the campaign is over, I'm going to cross promote everybody that came through that funnel and saying, how did we do? Were you able to do this? Were you able to do that? What? And then if you weren't, here's something else you might want to look at. And now I've got free leads to cross promote all by just approaching people that are trying to do something that don't have the tools, the techniques and the technology I have. If you want, folks, if you just think for a second, you can go out and help people and help yourself at the same time because there are, I'm solving problems I already have tools for. I don't have to create anything. I don't have to re, reinvent the wheel. I don't have to create another product. Boom, boom. That's how you do it. Social media management. I can't tell you how many TW3 apps I have sold by going into restaurants specifically and other businesses, but restaurants and saying, who's managing your social media account? How would you like us to do it for you for as little as fill in the blank? You can do it as little as 50 to 100 bucks a month. And here's the thing. With the way our AI works and the way our scheduler works, literally within 15 minutes, you can have their entire month's worth of social media planned out for them, and then it's done. And you've made a, fi a quick 50, 100 bucks that you're putting on autopilot. Here again, a tool in hand that I've got offering and solving problems because I have learned something about restaurant owners specifically. They don't want to get into all this marketing nonsense, digital nonsense and all that. They went to culinary school. They have a passion for the restaurant business. They don't want to get involved in any of this nonsense. Right there with the tools I have, I can generate an income stream, solve problems because I can present the value. There's my avatar. Who are the people I can serve? What are they doing now? They're either paying an employee inside or they're paying some expensive marketing agent on the third party and says, what are you paying now? And then I've done this before. Let me do it for free for a month. Just see if I can help and if you get any more. And because I've got AI and I got this other stuff and I've got a database, you guys have got a database access to a database you can target. There's all different types of things I can do to add more value than the average high school, college grad that was, you know, paying, you know, a couple bucks that they're doing on the side. You do the same. Something out. Now, this is for elite members. Elite members, you have the ability through that membership uh, product to create your own products. One of the things you can do is actually create training and onboarding products for other companies and other schools, churches, and, and other organizations. So if you've got a company that needs to train new folks on a certain thing, or like, for instance, I'm selling this to churches where they have new members joining and they want to walk them through an onboarding process. This is who we are. This is what we do. This is how you get involved. This is what we believe. These are your contacts at the church. If you're looking for this, you're looking for that. There's a whole module of things they need to know so that they're up to speed real quick. Well, our membership product creates that uh for them. I work with them. I create it for them. And then they've got their own product. I get a URL address that points right there. And then it's, it's part of the onboard. I can do that for schools. I can do that for any or sales organizations. There is something you can go out and create for other people, solve a problem. So that what you're doing is you're automating their training and onboarding process. And then you're selling it as a service. Uh, everybody here has the predictive dollar, robo dollar, voice broadcast dollar here at TW3. It's part of your CRM. You can approach people right now and say, can I do your cold calling for you? Do you have a list of people you want to call? What do you want to say to them? And you use our dialer system either through voice drops or through predictive dialing or whatever strategy you want to use. You can even set up services where you can do live transfers to them. I'll do the cold calling. I'll send your message out. And if we get someone on the phone that wants to talk to you right then, I'll even transfer the call over to you. Because if you'll notice, you'll have to go through our YouTube channel on our product. Uh, I think it's under um, tool demonstrations, but I show how to use it to where you can do live transfers. But uh, you can do voicemail drops and leave it right on their voicemail. But you can you can charge a rate. I'll I'll call five hundred people and I'll I'll charge you one hundred and fifty dollars to cold call five hundred or a thousand people, whatever. And then if they don't have the data to call, you charge them upcharge them for what the data is going to cost. 
But there's something you've got right now that you can do for other people. And I'm not selling them leads. I'm selling them a service. I will cold call for you. It's up to you to sell. I'm not selling for you. I'm going to cold call these people. And those who want to respond, I can even live transfer them over and for an extra fee for every live transfer I send you, it's X amount. But that's a service you can provide. Digital books, ebooks, audio books, all of that. That uh, if you're an elite member, that because of our AI that does uh, writing for you, because of that membership tool that uh, sets up where you can put it uh, ebook form, audio form, video form. I've got people that use our membership product app to create these, and you can sell this uh, to pastors, to coaches, to teachers, to people that want to create their own digital stuff. You can uh, create that as well. Consumer products, of course, if you're an elite member, you've got every health, finance, entertainment, travel, everything you could think of, every consumer product you could think of. If you got, you could be in the, you could be working for AT&T tomorrow if you want, if you're an elite member, because that's one of the referral marketing partners and you can start selling AT&T services. There's not a company out there. I had a neighbor that tried to recruit me several years ago into one of these health and wellness fitness. I think it was a beach body is what it was. And I just so happened, I went into our referral marketing package and I looked, we had beach body and literally it paid me $20 more to sell beach body and recruit people into beach body than what she was getting paid. And I showed it to her. She's now an elite member. So there's not a, there's not a product good service out there that if you want to do, you can't do tomorrow. If it fits the solution that your people will find the greatest value in, but it's just a matter of getting back, asking those right questions because then it's going to point you in the direction of what product or service on the TW3 platform that you can offer and use. And it's going to put you in a situation where you can create value and you don't have to reinvent the wheel and you can start creating an income flow and stream today.